Hey everyone, this is Tappers here again, and welcome back to the Mega Man 6 No Damage Buster Runs. Next, we are going after Flame Man, a robot master from Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia that uses thermal power as his energy source, which is, I guess, a uh, obsolete version of solar energy, but whatever. Uh, anyway, the enemies we start off with are regular Mets that we've seen from Mega Man 2, the ones that uh, stand up and shoot three-way shot. These are Fire Tellies. I'm not going to get the name wrong like I did in a previous recording because, spoiler alert, this is my second attempt at doing post-commentary for this because I called those Fire Mets five times throughout the stage and never getting it right once. Those were Wall Blasters. They are less dangerous than the Wall Blasters from Mega Man 4. These are pokers. These you can only kill with the charge shot because when they hit the ground they explode for god knows what reason. But if you knock them into oil you can traverse this area and actually continue on. The first one you can just barely, you can avoid killing because you can actually climb up with a couple pixels. I can jump over this one but then I need to be take out this one in order to jump over this high ledge and then you get a couple more fire tellies, which are very annoying aside from being able to ignite the fire, they also sometimes shoot their fire out very randomly and you can be caught in a very tough position if you can't kill them in time. But it's really random so it's kind of whatever. The re this is the last stretch of the stage where it's a kind of a long uh, screen and all that with fire boys and the, more of the cyber gabules. The fire boys are annoying because they fire out their little torch on top of their head very erratically and very randomly. Sometimes they take several seconds to shoot it off, sometimes they shoot it immediately, and then they shoot another one. But since that's all that's left of the stage, may as well talk about Fireman real quick. He has a small fuel generator that's installed in his body and every so often he has to refuel his energy three times a day. A good point, he's punctual. A bad point, he's demanding. And you'll see why in a minute. He loves to trim his beard, which is really awesome goatee by the way, along with his turban. He also, but he hates cheap oil because, well, you gotta have the right oil change and all that. Which begs, which goes to our quotes, oops, time to refuel the oil, and oh, it's time for an oil change, which I kind of have to do at some point. Flame Man is a relatively tricky boss because of the attacks that he has at his disposal. Most of the time you'll see him jump 100,000 feet in the air, bouncing off walls and all that, but when he's not bouncing off walls and jumping backwards for whatever reason, he'll shoot uh, sets of three fireballs, maybe once or twice, which are relatively easy to jump over, but then he uses his flame burst, which looks like it's just a completely random, hard to avoid attack, but in actuality, it's spaced out the same every time, you just need to know how far to stand away from him. I would almost say, like, maybe stand eh, half a screen, one third away from him, and you'll dodge it every time, but if anything, jump when you get a feeling he's going to use it and then you can just maneuver safely between them. I also forgot to mention he's got a pretty good stage theme as long as it's not the OC remix Master of Flame because I don't really care for the lyrics and the, the sort of synchronized hooks and all that stuff in there. So defeating Flame Man we get the Flame Burst I'm sorry, no, Flame Blast, I gotta get it right this time. Which is a Pillar of Fire, which is really powerful, and we get the Rush Adapter, which is a Mega Punch. Flame Man's stage was a relatively tricky stage to go through, along with his boss fight, but he's over and done with, and next time we will face against Hawkman. Hawk See ya.